But if I were the president, I would inform the threatening country, in this case Iran, that if you do anything to harm this person, we are going to blow your largest cities and the country itself to smithereens. We're going to blow it to smithereens. You can't do that. And there would be no more threats. There would be no more threats. In the run-up to November's election in the United States, there have been two assassination attempts on former President Donald Trump. Shots were fired at Vice President Harris's campaign office in Arizona, and election officials are being targeted. Now, Trump's campaign has announced intelligence officials have briefed him on Iran's efforts to assassinate him. Trump has meanwhile now said that he believes Tehran will try again. Trump's campaign says that officials from the Office of the Director of National Intelligence informed them regarding real and specific threats from Iran to assassinate Trump in an effort to destabilize and sow chaos in the United States. While Google researchers released a report in August confirming that Iran-backed hackers targeted both the Trump and Biden campaigns in a phishing attack, just last week, investigators revealed that Iranian hackers sent emails to Biden's campaign associates using sensitive information stolen from Trump's campaign. Iranian officials have firmly denied any interference in U.S. elections, but as of now, they have not provided any immediate comment on the matter. But Tehran says Washington, however, has interfered in its affairs for decades, citing events ranging from a 1953 coup against a prime minister to the 2020 killing of its military commander in a U.S. drone strike. Meanwhile, the Republican presidential candidate also thanked Congress for unanimously approving a bill to enhance U.S. Secret Service protections for major party presidential candidates. Parmeshwar Bhava for NDTV World.